Okay? So you've got an appointment. Let's go to the top of the process. Let's plan and prepare. What's the purpose of the first visit to Flanagan's Insurance Company? What's your purpose on calling on Flanagan the first time? Okay, now you set the appointment. So you've already done that. You've got that over the phone. So that's good. So you set the appointment. Now you're going out to see him. What's the purpose of going out to see him? To what? To find my bubble. Define your bubble. Okay. What, what's in it I'm more looking for? Good. Find out my needs. What else? Build trust. Build poor. Hey, try to sell him something. Fair enough? All right. You're ready to go. Anything else? You're, you're driving out to Flanagan. You got the Zig CD. You listen to Biscuit Fleas and Pump Handles, Freddie Prince Jr., Freddie Price Sr. I got it. So you park the car, you're going in. Anything you want to do? Anything you want to prepare for? Okay, let me give you the rules. Here are the rules. Number one, I'm going to stay in roll. I want you to stay in roll. Raise your hand. Let me point to you. You're going to shout your question out. I'm going to answer it honestly. Here's the honest answer. I don't buy clothes for my six salespeople. If you go down that line of questioning, trust me, that's not the line of questioning. I don't have a budget for that. I am the decision maker. It's not my wife. This is a role play. It's fantasy. Okay. <laughs> we'll make sure if somebody's taping this, they know. I'll answer honestly, stay and roll, and pogo me. Don't pogo just my clothes. Pogo my company. That's what we want you to do. P-O-G-O, person, organization, goals and obstacles. Jennifer, I'm a high eye, so let's do that. That way you'll know I'm a style. You ready to go? So you walk into my office, I stand up and I say, hi, how are you? And you say, good. Good to see you. How's everything? Good. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Yeah, and you're with ABC Clothing? Good. Yeah, I haven't bought, I buy from Bobby's down the street by the mall. I've never, I've seen your ad, <laughs> excuse me, but I've, I've never purchased from you. So what can I do for you? Yes, ma'am. No, I don't have allergies. I'm one of those people that don't have allergies. I just have a cold. I've been, I've been tested for allergies. I don't have allergies. I always carry a napkin or a handkerchief, yeah. I don't have any secret pockets. Yeah, I have, that may get, I have a cold all the time. But it, it'll, it'll, it'll get better in the next couple of minutes. It'll go away. It, it's just kicking up right now. I don't play golf a lot anymore. I used to golf, but I haven't, because I'm trying to build this business. I hired three guys and I can't train them. <laughs> so I haven't played golf. I don't know what my, I haven't played in so long. I don't know my golf score. Ooh, about 60. Like about 60 hours I'm working these days. Trying to get these guys, these three knuckleheads up to par. Yes, sir. Well, I used to play golf, but now that I've got this business and I'm, I'm trying to get more money out of it, I, I haven't done a lot. I, I like insurance. It's fun for me, but it's kind of, it's kind of work. Uh, Billy's in the mall. I've, I, I knew him for about 15, 16 years. I used to do business with him. I'm in a banking business. I, I just, I've always bought from him. No, not a, I'm not married to the guy. Well, I can't. See, I have to... <laughs> I had this cold and I can't train. I'm about to fire them. I've hired two CPAs and a coach in, in June and I can't train them because I have this cold and I'm about to fire them. I have very bad systems in place. No. Well, I, I may want to use that BAS program. Right back there. Gary's right back there. I buy them for Bobby's. Can I, you know, I'm not a, cl a close horse. I buy a couple of suits a year, and I buy, I just buy slacks, and I got golf shoes I've been using forever. So I'm, I don't, I don't dress, you know, I don't, I don't buy a lot of golf clothes. Yeah, uh, what, what do you like about Bobby? Well, before the sales, before he has a sale, before he has a sale, he'll, he'll bring the clothes to me, and then I'll pick them out, and I don't have to go to a shop. So I kind of like that service. Do you have uh, internet I don't know. Yeah, they're made out of wool. I'm thinking you might be allergic. No, I've been, I've been tested. I'm not allergic to anything. My wife makes me go to the allergist all the time. Oh, the time off? Why would I need time off? Oh, no, I'm good. I, you know, I'm just working hard, but 60 hours is not a killer. Okay, talk. 
Well, I doubt that service now. I, but he, but he brings in three suits, I choose two, and he leaves. That's not a bad deal. Yes, ma'am. What are socks? <laughs> uh, pricing, pricing. You can do better on pricing. Marty. I don't know what you keep saying. Socks. What are socks? Why do I need them? You don't know. Stop. What happened? You skipped a stage. Question. I lost, I lost my, wait a minute, I lost my, my, did the light bulb ever go off in my mind? Then why are you trying to sell me something I don't have a problem? I've never heard of socks. I don't know what environmental stuff is. I'm sorry, I don't know. Guys, I don't, I don't know your company. And now you're trying to tell me I need something and, and I've never been out of balance. So what mistake did we just make? We skipped stages in the process. The light bulb went on in your mind and you didn't know what was written on it. It had socks. I don't buy socks. I buy what socks do for me. What happens is we get back to this page that we started with this morning and we have a tendency to lead with our comfort zone. So you were selling me socks and I didn't want socks. I want what they do for me. You haven't gotten to the part of the process where you know what I need. Nope. Guys, I've lived this way for 60 years. I've never used your product. I am balanced. You understand what I'm saying? Just because you come in and say socks, I'm not ready to change brands of cigarettes and get a tattoo. Because I'm not out of balance. I've lived this way. I'm, I'm struggling with these three sales guys. I fire them. I hire three more. I've done that. You don't know I've done or not done that in the past. Yes, ma'am. No, they don't. I've always, they, no, guys I'm, not in, guys, I'm not in physical pain. You don't know. Mr. Let, let's, let, go ahead, one more time. I've had a cold all my life. All my life. No, my wife doesn't have a cold. I have no idea. Her feet, her head's covered. She's Amish. <laughs> no, I don't know. Guys, you're, wait, stop right now. You're pogoing my clothes. Time out. Wait a minute. Let's go to this. Ready? Look at this. Why, this is so beautiful. What are my goals? Mr. Flannery, let me ask you a question. What are you trying to achieve? Pogo. What are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to make more money. What steps are in place to make more money? I hired three salespeople. What obstacles stand in the way to making them? I can't train my salespeople. Did you notice that I did a little Tim Conway shuffle and I hid behind my jacket so you wouldn't see the skinny white ankles? So I hid my, my needs from you until I came around here and then you saw I had no, had no socks on. But you leaped and said socks when I don't know what you're talking about. Now leap that, there's gotta be a little bit of a leap of suspend imagination with me here. Mr. Prospect, thanks for meeting with me. As I said over the phone, what I'd like to do, he's sneezing. Mr. Prospect, how long have you had allergies? I don't have allergies. File that away. He doesn't have allergies. Ask him questions. P-O-G-O, -O, what are your goals? I'm trying to make more money. What steps are in place to make that money? I hired three guys. How's it going? It's not. Why not? I can't train them. I'm sorry, Mr. Prospect. I don't understand the insurance business. You hired three guys, but you can't train them. That's right. Why not? I have asked nothing but open-ended questions. Mr. Prospect, why not? Well, I had this cold and I can't go to the dinner table, sit down with you and your wife and sell and train this guy. I know how to train insurance people. Well, Mr. Prospect, why don't you have the other guys train him? I don't want everybody to be in training and nobody to be in production. Mr. Prospect, why don't you send him to a Zig Ziglar course because I want to train him myself. Now he sits down and you see the skinny white ankles. And you say, socks. And he says, what? He is not ready. The light bulb is not on. He's not out of balance. So what do you do? You ask questions. Mr. Prospect, let me ask you this. Suppose, just wave your magic wand. Suppose you got rid of the coal. What's the advantage to you? Make more money. Yes, and if you made more money, if you train these guys, got rid of the coal, train these guys, they started making money. You made, what would you do with the money? Well, I'd hire another administrative assistant. Now, why is that important to you? 
Well, if I hired another administrative assistant, I could get out of the office and maybe play golf with you and Joe. So Mr. Prospect, if you could get rid of that coal and train your salespeople that make more money to hire the administrative assistant, you'd have more free time. Let me ask you this, what's the benefit to your family? My family, my God, I, I tell you what, I could buy my wife that new car, maybe spend some time with my kids, take them on a ski vacation. So Mr. Prospect, now he's not out of balance yet. You see that? He's just talking. So Mr. Prospect, it seems like that with this coal, you can't do some things, but if you could, there'd be some benefit to you. Yeah. Mr. Prospect, let me make a recommendation. With installing our solution, seven to 14 days of installing our solution, the value to you is your coal will start subsiding. And once again, if your coal started subsiding, what's the benefit to you? I could train my people, I would make more money. Now he's tilted. He ain't falling out of his chair. But I don't want to lead with product. I want to lead with putting him in a vehicle to reach his goals. The problem is, and this is what happened when Carlos, you were talking cars, where Carlos goes somewhere. Thank you, Carlos. You came up and said, what about health? I don't want to lead with health. I want to lead with better morale, better productivity. Oh, by the way, I sell health. Oh, by the way, I can put you in a position to train your people, not fire, make more money, spend more time on the golf course, buy your wife a car, spend time with the kids on ski vacation. Oh, by the way, I sell clothes. It's the vehicle to the goal. You're not supposed to like me right now because I threw you a huge curve. The C's in the audience hate me because they know that colds are not caused by socks. So all the C's, I apologize. You're saying, Flanagan, that's not fair. You told us we were selling clothes and now you made us sales trainers. Did I do that? Okay, here's a question in the real world. In the real world, do you cure insomnia? In the real world, are you a parental advisor? In the real world, are you a marriage counselor? Bring it on, what do you think? Absolutely, Absolutely. thank you very much. Guys, what you do is put people in vehicles so they can reach their goals. If I can put you in a vehicle to take you from 60 hours a week to 50 hours to 45 hours, I'll make you a better spouse. I give you the opportunity of being a better spouse. If I reduced your 60 hours to 50, 45 hours a week, you'll be a better husband. If I can take you, a, a better dad, if I can take you to 60 hours a week, to 40 hours a week, to 45 hours a week, then you'll sleep better at night. Oh, by the way, I sell clothes. Guys, it's what you do for the customer. You put them in a vehicle to reach their goals. And I promise you, if you get hung up with this, you're going to get in a price battle, battle every time. But if you lead with this, you have a chance to be outrageously successful.